Welcome back. It's a brand new year and a brand new season ahead of us. 2021 may have been a year of change, exploration, and new experiences, and we're headed into 2022, living our dream. From Alaska to the lower 48 and back to Alaska during the harshest time of the year, we are pushing the ultimate 4x4 Sprinter adventure van to its limits. And when we returned to Alaska to our favorite spots, they had changed. We embraced change, the change of seasons and all of the challenges thrown at us as we pushed through into winter. We are Jim, Ember, and Cynthia, and winter van life in Alaska has taught us not to make plans. And when your home is on four wheels, things can get interesting when with very little warning we were stuck in the middle of a state of an emergency. Where do you go when residents have been required to hunker down and you find yourself caught in the middle of a full-blown Alaskan-sized storm? Which makes us consider a new way of life. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. It is New Year's Eve, and we are just super excited to be on this adventure, but we're not making it very far. So the snow's falling. It's about 20 degrees, but the roads are pretty slick. And we're in another Alaskan traffic jam. Not moving very far. It looks like from what we can see through the snow that it's probably about two miles away. We can see the flashing lights and I think we might be here for a while. I think we're gonna be here for a while. Two o'clock in the afternoon, running out of daylight. Hey, look at this, it's pretty cool. This dude's getting out of his car. Oh, hey, he might need that. It looks like the accident is way over there. This feels like deja vu. <laughs> Happy New Year. There's nowhere to go. We can't go back, we can't go forward, but we're comfortable. This we can make a sandwich. Are you hungry? <laughs> Last year had us thinking, what good is the warmth of summer without the bitter winter to remind you of its pleasure? Why not go back to living where only one road between communities exists with several icy bridges along the way? And here, mountainous peaks and flat plains, this area is known for its dangers. Gusty winds, wild animals, and daily commuters not paying attention.
The snow was falling and hitting our lights like stars falling from the sky. It was easy to get mesmerized into believing the only reason for the snow's existence was to beam us into a new year and possibly even into a new world. But after a long day of very careful driving in some of the worst conditions Alaska has seen in several years, we knew that finding ourselves a quiet spot alone for the night in the middle of a snowstorm might be a challenge. But we wanted to enter the new year the right way, together, celebrating with a kiss and solitude, never promising change, but growth. Total seduction. And then, no replacements found. <laughs> I think our salesperson had quite the sense of humor. <laughs> this is total seduction. Did you get seduced? Huh? Did you get seduced? No, that was not a good one. I like the other one better. What? It was free. We started our little party in the woods at 10.30, but it was quickly brought to a halt when we watched the local evening news report, where this guy, as it turns out, wasn't telling the whole story. Those winds are going to be driving down this bitter cold Arctic air into South Central as we head on into Sunday and then on into Monday as well. You can see temperatures struggling to get to around the zero mark for daytime highs heading on into the first few days here of 2022. So get ready to bundle up. And when you factor in those wind chill values, we're going to be at near dangerous levels from 50 to 60 below up north here to around 10 to as much as 30 below zero, especially during those morning hours. Uh, as we head back to work and school for the early part of the week. Again, snow coming to an end tonight, still uh, steady and heavy across southeast. Skies will gradually clear tomorrow as those winds deliver that cold Arctic air. And then we will see the trade off with that bitter cold in terms of more sunshine to start off the week. With unexpected high winds bringing us an early end to New Year's Eve plans, we went to sleep, listening to the wind breaking the trees under the weight of their unnatural burden, like healthy bones crackling in the night. We woke up the next morning unsure of what the world might look like around us after a night of staying cozy and warm together in the van while the weather took a turn for the worse. Later, we learned wind gusts up to 70 miles an hour that night, and we hardly even noticed.
And although we weren't able to start off the new year cross-country skiing because of the winds, Amber and I still enjoyed a quick morning romp where we created a little magic of our own to celebrate a new day and a new year. It's mornings like this where we wake up feeling new and alive, where we walk to collect our thoughts and sometimes put the camera down to build walls around our lives, protecting it like a treasure at the bottom of the sea because no one sees the world as we do. So here we remained, wanting to keep it all to ourselves. We had planned on going cross-country skiing this morning, but with this weather, it's not happening, so I think we're gonna just keep heading north. It's a winter of learning. No matter how dark or how cold it gets, we're here to enjoy the idle hours of winter and the different kinds of peace it brings. Welcome back to another Instant Pot Inspiration. Today we're going to do a reindeer sausage pasta. I'm looking forward to this one because reindeer sausage is one of our favorites. We're going to make this a little bit spicy. We're going to toss in some olive oil. Put it on saute. We're gonna throw in our reindeer sausage first. I'm gonna to toss in our jalapenos here and our onion. Our onions are clear. We're gonna to toss in three cups of water, a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, two. green peppers, a full jar of marinara sauce, we're going to add some pen pasta, we're going to make sure our valve is closed, we're going to pressure cook for five minutes, our timer has gone off, we're going to do a quick release. Ooh. So our valve has dropped, we can safely open this up. 
We're gonna toss in some spinach. Then we're gonna mix this up really well here. The van is shaking. The wind is rocking. And this is a pretty dang good food. That's some good stuff. Let's eat. Oh my goodness. Oh. The curiosity of how our lives might turn out during this short time we have on this earth is what motivates us to keep going. And on this New Year's Day, through a wild series of events, we had met the kindest, most genuine Alaskan you could meet. Clyde. Where Clyde knows and understands our dreams of owning a piece of Alaska with a magnificent view and a place not only to call our own, but to have others join us in enjoying the beauty of this beautiful state that we live in. And Clyde is giving us a chance to make that happen. And we hope to share with you more of this future adventure.
I think I'm standing on it. So, what have we learned today? In the dead of winter, these winter storms we discovered within ourselves last year turned into an endless summer of hope and happiness. Life is about balance and accepting the storms that come without warning. And even the strongest blizzards begin with a single snowflake. And with that single snowflake, new beginnings are created. And the best thing about winter is the comfort that comes from escaping it. But soon enough, you learn that nothing burns so deeply as the bitter cold, not even the sun. This new year is bringing us new challenges and opportunities we face living van life in Alaska. And considering everything we've been through this year, this might be the time to settle down. While we explore the idea, be sure to subscribe to see our future Alaskan adventures. Tell us where you're watching from in our comments below. And as always, stay happy, healthy, and safe. We'll see you again soon.